Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and today we're going to be discussing the Korean patch notes Black Desert that just dropped yesterday with Land's Awakening. Now normally I would discuss what happened in NA as well, but uh, in my opinion there wasn't really much interesting that happened in NA this week. And the only thing that happened that was interesting in NAEU this week was that the knowledge system changed to where when you kill a monster, your knowledge will automatically upgrade. This is an awesome quality of life change that will make everyone pretty much be able to get S ranks with ease and anywhere that they grind at, and as opposed to having to reset it constantly over and over again. Uh, fortunately, a lot of people don't like this because it's kind of like you know belittling all the work that other people had to do in order to get s ranks but that's just the nature of mmos over time things do just naturally get easier as the game gets older and more convenience factors are shipped in i don't really have a problem with this i thought it was a pain in the ass to get s ranks before i had my own fair share of s ranks that i worked on i don't have a problem with it though so that's pretty much it that happened in NA. So let's go ahead and talk about the Korean patch. And there isn't really much that happened in the Korean patch either. Sorks have been complaining and wanting a buff for the longest time. And they finally got one, even though it's probably the smallest buff we've ever seen in Black Desert history. Um, it, it, it is that they did get us very, very, very small buff. And then other than that, most classes just got some minor glitches and minor quality of life changes. There was nothing really major from what I can tell in this patch. Uh, uh, once again, as always, I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can check it out yourself. Lan got added and a lot of people are over hyping about Lan because she has a quote unquote ranged grab, even though the range is not very far at all. It's the furthest grab in the game for sure, granted, but it isn't that far, you know, it's only so far. And uh, as you can see here, so, I'm not sure if I really have an issue with this yet. I don't like to judge classes based off of what I see in Korea. I like to wait until they release an NA and play against them because in NA I can tell who's strong and who's got gear and who's a good player, etc., etc. I can't tell who's good and who's bad in these Korean videos. I have no idea who these people are, so it's impossible. You could easily get someone with 150 AP, 150 AP mystic to walk into an arena and one shot someone but what if that person has 150 dp you know you don't know so uh yeah there's no way to tell in this game so you just have to wait until you fight it yourself basically or at least until you have some more evidence uh that specifically shows the gear of each individual which most koreans don't go through the trouble of recording for our viewing pleasure but some very interesting thing that are that are happening in the Korean version have nothing to do with classes. And the first thing I want to talk about is that they're going to allow us to be able to craft very good accessories. So you can craft Ring of Crescent Guardian. You can craft the Ring of Kadri Guardian. You could craft a Centaur's Belt. You can craft a Basilisk Belt. You can craft a Syrup's Necklace. And you can craft, craft a Sissel's Necklace. All of these things range in different amounts of materials you need, but from what I can tell, all the materials you need are ab absolutely easy to get in the game. The only one that's hard is there. there's an event called Yona's Shards, and you need 20 per accessory, and these shards apparently will be dropping from monsters from, from Valencia. So you have to grind in Valencia in order to get these things, and they're only going to be Oh, they're going to be in the game for an entire month so a month and 10 days so they're going to be in the game for a long time so for everyone who's um looking into um this patch note definitely start preparing to be grinding in valencia once land or land releases in na because we'll be getting this event as well pretty much i, I assume so so that's a pretty cool event so the next event the next thing I want to talk about that's very, very cool. This is an event, an event, but it's actually really amazing. So there's always been a thing where people would invest in nodes and they'd be like, wow, I'm not really getting a change in drops. And this was confirmed, unfortunately, that investing in nodes does absolutely nothing at all for grinding areas. But after this patch, it will finally do something. So whenever you invest in a node, you get an increased chance of getting a 50% item drop rate whenever you kill a monster. And if that sounds weird to you, it also sounds weird to me. I'm going to try to explain what I interpret the situation to be. 
I could be wrong here, but this is what I interpret it to be. So basically, every time you kill a monster, you have a 10% chance that the rare item loot rate will be increased by 50% which sounds absolutely insane, but that's what it, what I'm getting from this. And the system is not applied on items you get from party grinding or miscellaneous loot, so trash loot. So this is a solo grinding thing. Clearly it's gonna be for people who wanna solo farm accessories. So um, say for example, if you have a level 10 node at Crescents, you're gonna have a much better chance at getting Crescent Rings and Soil Crescents, Crescent Rings now. So that's very cool. And then um, they removed AP caps from Valencia and comma Silve, which is also great as well. A lot of people are getting tired of AP caps and uh, when it comes to grinding. So you could keep the AP caps in media and then they removed them here. So uh, in the higher area, higher grinding areas. So that's really cool. I'm happy that they did that. Um, and then another thing that they also increased that's gonna help with drop rate, which is the last thing that came in this patch notes that I think is worth mentioning, is that if you get a higher rate in knowledge, which is once, I, like I said in the beginning of the video, extremely easy to do now. Once you get a higher grade of knowledge, you get points, okay? So for every S grade knowledge, you get 10 points. For every A plus, you get five. For two, for every A, you get two. And for every B, you get one point. Now, all you need is 8,000 points and you get an increased item drop rate by 20% everywhere. So for the rest of your BDO career, you have 20% item drop rate. Once again, this is what I understand from the patch notes might not be this way but this is what i interpret it to be if you guys find anything wrong with what i'm saying feel free to comment below we can figure it out um, but yeah so from what i can tell when you get 8,000 points it'll be item drop rate increase 20 percent everywhere so that includes everything so imagine world bosses all that this is just amazing to me like drops are gonna go like it's gonna be way easier to get drops now when you couple this with the with the um with the node change as well it's, it's gonna be crazy 8,000 points is quite a bit though so you got to keep it keep in mind you got to get s grade knowledge on a lot of different monsters you would need to get s grade on 800 different monsters in order to get 8,000 points that's quite a bit but uh yeah it's just a very cool system and i'm very happy to see it i'm very happy to see that they've actually done this um it's really cool other than that they've just added some more hotkey features and things like that nothing major it's a pretty good quality of life patch that's what i would call this a very good quality of life patch as far as land and land goes that's uh that's something else that has to be discussed entirely once the class has been completely you know studied and learned you know you can't just judge a class just because of what you see right away don't get too hyped guys but yeah that's about it guys i just wanted to let you guys know about this stuff if you guys haven't followed me on twitch feel free to do so lol hero twitch that's where i'm streaming now I don't stream on youtube anymore it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace